Eyes are on you, sir. All right, so we've been talking about what this month? Important topic. No, okay. uh, anti Yes, very good. Okay, so we've been talking about our anti bullying messages. Uh, October is National Bully Awareness Month and Old Bully Prevention Month, and uh, we want to be a big part of that here at HMA. So, uh, last week we talked about instead of being a bystander, you want to be what? An upstander. Yes, right here, say upstander. So if we see bullying going on, we want to step in and be able to take positive action uh, to be able to, to stop it. Yes? Yes, sir. Right. This week I want to talk about what do we do if somebody is directing bullying behavior towards us. All right, and I'm going to give you five rules of personal safety. The first one is, everybody go like this. Say, use your mind. Use your mind. All right, so use your mind. So if someone is, uh, you know, if we can avoid the situation, through some common sense sets. A lot of it is situational awareness. If we know where bullies are gonna be and where they have an opportunity, uh, if we can avoid those, those places, those people, those situations, um, that is one way to, to use our mind to, to stop bullying. Yes? All right. So uh, the next thing we don't want, want to talk about is kind of how you carry yourself. I want everybody to kind of sit up tall, good posture, look strong, good, good confidence, all right? If you walk by a boy, let's say I'm here with Mr. Farmer. Mr. Farmer is kind of been showing some bullying behavior and I walk past him all kind of like this. All right, that body language can almost encourage him to be like, oh yeah, this is the guy. I'm going in, all right? But instead, I'm gonna give you an alternative. If I walk by Mr. Farmer, hey Mr. Farmer, how's it going, man? So, um, did I try to act like a tough guy? Yeah. No, but I was friendly. I gave him a polite greeting, but I looked him in the eyes and I had good posture. Yes? yes. And we want to develop a lot of confidence in you as you do grow in your martial arts skills. And we want you to carry yourself with confidence. If you carry yourself with confidence, you look people in the eye, um, you, know, you can be much less likely to be targeted by a bullet. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. So, so that is uh, the rule number one is use your mind. All right. Rule number two is use your words. So if someone has started to, to uh, uh, kind of exhibit some bullying behavior towards you, you just need to sit there and take it. No. Everybody say, no way, sir. No no way, sir. Way. Use your words. Let them know it's not okay and you want them to stop. That doesn't mean you're rude. That doesn't mean you insult them. But uh, a good phrase I like, everybody, you look me in the eye. Give me a good stern look. Say, be loud too. Say, I want you to leave me alone. I want you to leave me alone. All right, let them know it's not okay and tell them to stop. Yes? Yes, sir. That's, that's number two is use your words. Now, number three is use your legs. All right? So there's nothing wrong. You don't need to sit there and take it. And if you try to, to use your words and get them to stop, you don't just need to sit there and stay in that situation. Walk away or run away if you need to. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. Now, number four is ask for help. So uh, this is very important. If you're at school, who should you tell? Teacher. Teacher, all right, another faculty member. Um, and then outside of that, you should always let your parents know if something's going on. Yes? So I just want to just stress this for you. You should never have secrets from your parents. Yes? Some of you, as you get older, some of you watch these really angsty shows where kids like, the parents just don't understand, and they have all these secrets. No. Uh, if there's something going on that's bothering you, that's distressing you, you let your parents know right away, and they're gonna do whatever they can to help you, and chances are they've been through things like this when they were young. Yes? So, uh, that's number four, everybody say, ask for help. And then the last one is defend yourself. So, you're gonna learn lots of skills in your training, you've got your guard stance, we can open it up with our palms, and we're here, and, and if they throw something at us, we can block, and we can strike as much as we need to to get them to stop. But we're never going to do so much that we become bullies ourselves. Yes? Yes, sir. So, and I also want to give you one, one other thing with this, and that's kind of a three times rule. The first time somebody exhibits some, some kind of maybe bullying, they can, can you start to, to get a little bit, uh, you know, like, like they're starting to show some rude behavior toward you or some mean behavior. The first time, just, just ignore it. Just kind of, just kind of go over, act like it doesn't even bother you. If they don't get a rise out of you at all, there's a good chance that they'll, that they'll just kind of, okay, that's not my person, and I'll move on. So just the first time, if you can, just ignore it and just go with it. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. The second time, that's what I want you to let them know to stop. Use your words, um, let them know it's not okay. Yes? Yes, sir. 
And then the third time, you need to let people know about it, let a teacher know about it, and let a parent know about it. So that's a kind of a good rule of thumb. Uh, remember, you've got to be repetitive for deep bullying. So the first time, just, that's kind of weird, you know, but just let it roll off the back. The second time, you're going to start to take action with your words. The third time, you're going to get other people involved to help you solve the problem. Yes? All right. So that's our five rules of personal safety. Use your mind. All right. Use your words. Uh, number three, use your legs. Number four, ask for. And number five is defend yourself.